guys, welcome back to my channel, Andrew here of Cinemoth.com. Today with another Iron Man 3 release by Hot Ties. This time it's the sneaky armor, a stealth suit and quite a fresh take actually. So as you can see, no recycling or reuse of parts from earlier releases, it's really a fresh take. So follow me for this video review, I'll give you all the details, let's start with the box first. Alright, as you can see this is the MMS348 and Hot Toys release number is getting higher and higher. It's crazy how many releases there are already out there. And we are still not finished with the house party protocol um, stuff. So I think they announced Disco, the Disco armor suit uh, past weeks. But yeah, um, for the box nothing that special. You see a nice print of the actual figure on the front and then some silverish and black stuff on the side. So a bit basic and plain, but uh, it will fit into the whole line, of course. All right, and here we go with Sneaky Mark 15. I've got him hovering or floating over the base that was included. So let's quickly cover the accessories because this will be a short one. Alright, so here we go. As you can see, that's it. So you get, I think, three pairs of hands, if I'm correct. Fisted hands, grabbing hands and the articulated hands. And this is quite special, actually. These are a totally new sculpt. And as you can see, they're slightly uh, making a grabbing pose. So it's not like uh, on earlier releases for normal suits, for example where it was like just straight fingers and as you can see it's more like a skeleton like look yeah but that's it so accessory wise you don't get a lot that's for sure so just a quick notice here when i started posing the figure and the different hands i only got around that these are completely intentionally placed so we have on the right arm where we have this forearm gauntlet here every right hand has this clean plated look going on where on the left area of the left arm we've got the skeletal look going on so this is completely intentional and movie authentic no idea why maybe we've got here like a weapon system here is like a defense system or something so that's just a quick nice little detail that Hot Toys also delivered here. So let's have a quick look at this handy Iron Man manual. Really trusty advisor if you want to get all the details on these Iron Man suits. Here we've got some nice pictures of the sneaky suit and a description on what it's all about. So basically it was a really uh, a stealth focused suit. Uh, and as you can read some rather scattering devices on everything was covered and what I really like is the fact that they somehow have this coating on it that could like somehow match with the environment light lighting so that's quite a nice idea let's see how Hot Toys covered this in their figure release alright guys let's go back to the figure I'll give you some details on the sculpting and paint application work and I think the first and most obvious are these golden platin panels that we find all over the figure for example here on the thigh area here on the abs of course the the faceplate and the shoulder area and if you hit it with some direct spotlight or some daylight bulbs these elements really shine and lift the figure to another level but uh, in hard comparison or relation we see these uh, darker panels in a really dull black for my liking and then we find some gray uh, lines here and there all around the edges and ridges so they are quite sharp and nicely painted but somehow I feel that these gray and black parts are not really up to the quality standard of Hot Toys um, especially compared with some diecast releases recently like the War Machine Mark 1 re-release where the black parts were amazingly well painted with some nice and deep rich paint um, but you see there are a lot of details going on next to the actual color they use for example you see some red elements here like this caution text also here on the front side you see some details like these red elements here then really sharp texting on the 
armor itself with the Mark 15. Also here on the back side of the helmet. And <laughs> this is quite interesting, it says no push for whatever reason. So these two elements, I'm not sure for what they're used. But basically, as you can see, the overall feel of this figure is really like a stealth bomber that the US Air Force is using. Interesting are these boots here. There you also see a different uh, colors they use. For example, here this, I'm not sure, blue LED. Well, it's not LED, but it's just a blue reflector element. And also here, quite little text. I'm not sure. I can't read it. Maybe with a magnifying glass. So the prints are really sharp. Here it says, operated locked. Extremely small, but really clean and sharp text that are printed on. All right, let's quickly cover the LED functionality in the head sculpt or the face plate. So beneath this top cover, you'll find the switch in the battery compartment. There we go. This are the eyes activated, and the details on the face plate are really nice. Especially the, the paint application is like a mix between a very clean part in the middle, and here you see some some black dirt or oxidation effects on the sides so that's really nice this covers or goes through all the other um, golden platinum look elements also here on the fire armor so it's not totally clean it looks really realistic and um, like uh, used in battle or flight um, situations so then of course you've got the R corrector on the front just quickly take off this cover as, as you can see it's a bit differently styled for my liking it looks like something is missing here in the R corrector but, but I compared it to some other product pictures so it's basically just the way it should be but the details here beneath are really well done a lot of structure going on and details so the R corrector switch is as with most Iron Man figures on the back side beneath this part here so there's a switch quite a tiny switch actually so here we go this is the activated R corrector on the sneaky suit so then let's quickly cover the articulation um, on this part I want to highlight the head articulation so basically you have this quite high movement but on the other side there's this pillar or this neck thing going down and up but this way it looks really weird because you just can directly look through this gap here so that's a, a bit unsightly I have to say you even can see inside the actual uh, neck adapter here so that's a bit uncool but the neck rotation is there and it's quite articulated so then for arm articulation as you can see here this is the extended arm you can push it in but just be a bit careful because all these sharp elements here also here on the back side you see these two parts are actually extremely close uh, to each other so you can definitely scratch different parts on the back side you see this like a jetpack area so here are two um, air vents or something and here are the two wings so these wings look a bit cheap they're just hot plastic stuff yeah on the back side you've got a lot of details also here some nicely clean printed text then the two thrusters with the rusty paint application so that's quite nice then you've got the m um, an extended app segment like with most uh, hot toys iron man releases that you give a bit more control and free room for the articulation of the app section the app crunch is almost non unusable because it's not much going downside to the leg area you can see that here are two flaps on each side to give a bit more space for the leg articulation the knee bend is also there and then you've got also here some nice details like the thruster as on the back side here's some text elements and then of course iconic for this suit this this ski boot section on the calf area where you can actually lift up this cover here and have a bit of a quick look on this inner workings here 
so they really make up for a distinct look of this suit and the boots for themselves are independently articulated they're a bit loose on mine so you really have to make sure that the figure is stable enough when you put it into a pose after finding some balance here on the surface some more extreme poses are possible something like this for example is easily achievable if you have it on a stable surface um, then of course I missed out on the arms so the arm section have as you can see here a cover which you can lift up downside is the LED switch and a special little add-on that they did here are these um, blue LED elements on this side the other side of the other arm is completely a different sculpt work and also here I think we don't have the blue LED element so this is just a white LED on the front side no special blue elements Okay, let's have him in the final pose. As you can see here, I put him on the flight stand again. And this is really looking like in its natural environment because with all these jet fighter elements on the suit, these wings, these thrusters, these air vents, it really looks natural having him in a flying pose. So I think overall a nice, pretty nice release of Hot Toys. Quit a bit on the pricey side, I have to say. I think it's 265 or something um, for sideshow customers. And if you get it currently right now, it will be over 320. I think I paid without taxes. So that's quite a hefty price tag, especially considering you don't get any um, other accessories and no actual added value. But uh, besides that, I think the color that they used on this. Uh, golden platinum look elements it's amazing the color that they used in all the other elements like the black and gray ones is a bit dull but uh, looking at it from a mechanical engineering part point of view is really an advanced uh, release and Hotas did not uh, went the cheap way and recycled a lot of elements from other releases and recent releases so it's a completely new designed and sculpted suit Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this witty review of Sneaky and yeah, thanks for watching, until next time, bye bye.